get, you get the liability too. <laughs> you, if you marry someone and they have bills, guess what happens? Unless you do a prenuptial and go two different ways, you get their bills as well as their blessings. Preach on, I'm going to here. <clears throat> now watch this very carefully. Here's what was exchanged. Here's what was exchanged when two individuals entered into a covenant. Now, one of the examples you can find of this is 1 Samuel chapter 20 when David and Jonathan made a covenant with each other. Here's what was exchanged. Follow me very carefully. Number one is they exchanged garments. Number two is they exchanged names. Number three, they exchanged gifts. Number four, they exchanged weapons. And number five, they exchanged the power of attorney to use their name. Now, you won't specifically find this in 1 Samuel 20, all five of these, but in any covenant that is a legitimate covenant, you will have these five things involved. Let's look through these quickly and see how does that relate to me as a believer. I want you to hear the rest of this message. You know, when we show things on Manifest sometimes that are live uh, programs, for example, our camp meetings, we do not put everything on television. We actually edit certain things out that is strictly for the people that are at the conference. But on our CDs and DVDs, you will get it all. Let me share that with you right now. We're making available a beautiful album, the 10 messages of the Hickson Camp Meeting. Now, I preach five of these. Let me give you the titles right now. Moving God and Binding Satan by the Blood Covenant, the spiritual authority released by the covenant. Here's another one. Releasing God's will through the tongues of men and angels, the physical, emotional, and spiritual benefits of praying in the spirit. The third message was, has America prophetically entered its fullness of time? What ancient patterns reveal about America's future? Here's another one. The donkey is limping, the elephant is snoring, and they won't get up. The keys to getting America out of the mess that we are in. Here's another one. Enduring the third trimester pre-tribulation birth pains. If you can take it, you can make it. Now, I preached five of the messages, but Rick Shelton preached the greatest message on spiritual authority I've ever heard in my entire life. Bill Cloud came in and did a study on the Hebraic seasons that we are in that just blew people out of the water, if I can use that expression. My dad, Fred Stone, sat down with me and began to share powerful things that God is showing him about the future. Tommy Bates came in and his message was so anointed. People, I don't know if you've ever seen this before, were actually getting drunk in the spirit. And Judy Jacobs just brought the house down and the glory of God came at the ladies' luncheon. So we have ten messages. Now here's how you can get them. We have them available on CD. There are 10 CDs, uh, 10 total messages, but this has the message only. Now, we're going to reduce the cost of these because of the season that we're in, so you can get them for $60 postage pay. That's right. We're going to pay for the shipping and the handling. Then the DVDs, 10 DVDs, and this contains the music, the message, the altar service. You get to see it and hear it. The cost of those 10 DVDs in the album is $120, and again, we're going to pay the postage. Why? Because we want more people to be able to get this material at this time. Now, the number to call toll-free is 1-888-21-BREAD. Or you could write Perry Stone, P.O. Box 3595, Cleveland, Tennessee, 37320. Or go to our website and order that way. And if you want CDs, the number is 08HXCD. For DVDs, 08 HXDVD. Please specify CD or DVD and use those numbers and include the $60 for the CDs and $120 for the DVDs. I promise you this, this was the greatest meeting that we ever conducted in the entire history of our ministry. Uh, Abba's House, Pastor Ron Phillips is a wonderful pastor. It's a great church, but the atmosphere there was so charged with the anointing that when people drove up and got out of their car, people would begin to just worship and begin to cry because they could feel the anointing of God that was on the atmosphere. And so when you come into the building and all the people were there and the power of God was being released and you can just see the people worshiping and praising God and the anointing coming, uh, you know, it's been, it's been many, many weeks since that meeting and I still personally feel the impact of what happened there. So we, I know many of you were unable to attend, but we thank you who did come and we are going back, by the way, next year. A couple things that I feel like I need to, uh, I just want to kind of share 
share with you here that are very important uh, what you're coming up. You know, we're headed into the future. We're not headed into our past. We're heading into the future. And when you go into your future, you don't want to go blindly. Someone asked me one time, they said, why do you think people are so much into Bible prophecy? I said, because people do not want to go blindly into the future. And there's always a nature inside of men that they want to know what's going to happen in order to prepare. It's not a matter of knowing what's going to happen just so we can say, yeah, we know what's going to happen. It's a matter of knowing what's going to happen to know how to be prepared for what is about to take place. Now, America, I have, I have preached this. Our partners who are watching me right now know this, that I began to preach years ago based on patterns I found in the Bible, that America would peak as an empire right around the year 2007, 2000, that you would see the climax of America as an empire. Now listen to me carefully, not as a nation, but as a global empire. And that everything would start shifting over into Europe, over into China. China, the kings of the East in the book of Revelation are going to rise in the very near future. And so we're seeing that take place. Now that troubles a lot of us who are just God-fearing, uh, you know, Bible-believing Americans that often get made fun of by the secular media. But those of us are troubled by that because we see things happening in the horizon. We discern the signs of what's taking place. And we also have discovered, and I'm not going to get into this in the next couple weeks. I'm just not going to do it. But in our conferences in 2009, we're going to be sharing with you the pattern of what will happen in America the next four years. We also found a pattern of uh, the president for the next four years and it's it's when I say pattern people say what are you talking about you can that the thing which has been is that which shall be according to the book of Ecclesiastes and God moves in circular time Bill Cloud taught us that at the conference at Hickson and not not linear time not a timeline but in circular time where everything repeats itself and so it's coming in full circle so we can go to the Bible and discover amazing patterns of things that are going to happen before they happen because of the fact that there will be a story or an event that reveals it and we found something absolutely mind-boggling that we're going to be uh, uh, sharing with uh, about the United States. And we really feel like God's given us a word for America, for the future of America. He's given us a word for the body of Christ and for the church. And so at our major conferences this year, you need to go to the website and look them up. We're planning on coming into Florida. We're coming uh, into uh, uh, a, mini, a mini camp meeting in Texas. We're coming to major camp meetings in Louisville, Huntington, St. Louis, Hickson, Tennessee. And uh, a lot of meetings we're going to have are going to be three nights, two nights, four nights perhaps. Uh, because we want to get into more parts of the country to share this word that God's given us. And if you've never been to one of our conferences, the anointing is very, 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 very heavy and very strong during these meetings as well. So go to our website at perrystone.org to find that out. Also, we have our second mentoring institute coming in the month of April. If you feel called or burdened, into ministry and uh, we're going to be sharing with you during this institute it's a Wednesday through a Saturday afternoon we conclude the institute by touring our facilities you get to come up into my private office and I'll uh, share with you uh, my private office the library and uh, we actually met with a whole group of people last year at our conference mentoring institute so these are some things that are, are, are coming up and also, any information that you need, you can always call our office. Let's put the office number up very quickly from about 9 to 5 on Monday through Friday. And any kind of information that you don't get on the website, you can call our office there and find out the information. But uh, perrystone.org will always uh, stay in touch with you through that method. And also, if you're interested in the Mentoring Institute, I have a, 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 a CD, I'm sorry, a DVD that's on the Internet. That you can click there, and I'll explain it to you. All right, I'm coming back next week with a brand-new message from the Hickson Meeting. I'll see you then.